Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I've got something very excited to share with you all. We are going to dive into the wonderful world of children's activity books and we're going to publish them on Amazon KDP. We're going to learn how to create our very own book using Canva and the power of ChatGPT. Now, you might be wondering, why focus on phonics books? Well, phonics books are incredibly popular because they play a crucial role in helping kids learn how to read and develop language skills in a fun and engaging way. So let's jump right in and start crafting an amazing activity book that's both educational and enjoyable for kids. So the first step is we're going to head over to Amazon KDP and choose a trim size for our book. So I went into uh, onto this link where it uh, shows us all the available sizes that we can choose from. I'm going to go for something um, in the large trim sizes and I want this book to be um, square. Um, you know, because children's books are usually big and they're square, uh, it's easier that way for them to, um, you know, use it. So this is the size that I'm going to go for, 8.5 into 8.5 inches. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add gutter length to it. This is something that Amazon recommends um, adding uh, to your book. So if your trim size is, say, 6 into 9 inches, ours is 8 into 8.5 into 8.5 inches, we're going to uh, add one, uh, 0.125 inches uh, to this um um, size and I'm gonna explain that in a bit so what I mean is when we head over to Canva we're going to set the height and uh, width limit to instead of 8.5 we're gonna say 8.625 into 8.625 inches but before that we're gonna head over to chat GPT and uh, the first step in our journey journey is to generate some fantastic poems on phonics um, these poems are going to be the heart of our activity book teaching kids about different letter sounds and their associated words uh, with chat GPT we can come up with different creative and catchy rhymes that will make learning a blast so let's go ahead and generate some phonics poems together so the prompt I'm gonna give uh, chat GPT is this I want to write a little rhyming poem for kids to help them learn phonics can you write something for the letter A so this is what chat GPT uh, generated for us. I gave it a, re a read and you know, so I told it to simplify it and I told it the sound of A in the word ball is not correct. Um, so it simplified it for us and I think this is what I'm satisfied with. So let's head over to Canva and let's uh, show you what I'm gonna do over there. Now that we've got our engaging phonics poems, it's time to bring them to life with some colorful visuals. Um, we're going to design alphabet coloring pages featuring each letter along with cute illustrations of objects that start with that letter. Um, all right, so let's uh, you know create a design with these dimensions. And so once we have our artboard ready, we are going to start uh, designing. But before that, um, let me tell you how we should format our book. So the first page is going, we're going to leave that blank because the first page is the one that comes um, behind the book cover. So uh, it's not actually a page, it's the cover. Uh, page two is going to be the first page and we are going to count um, page two onwards. Uh, and also we're gonna leave that blank. Now page three is going to be you know, the backside of page two. So it's essentially page, uh, you know, the second, the first page front and back. Page uh, I mean page, page four and five are essentially going to be uh, page two so we are going to you know either write a book dedication here um, a preface something like that we're going to leave page uh, five uh, blank or maybe you know continue the preface on this page page six is going to be um, a dedication page maybe and we're going to leave seven blank and we're going to start designing from page eight right from page eight so we're gonna go to the text tab on canva and we're going to head uh, we're going to add a heading so after that we're gonna uh, start with the letter a we are going to make this big and we are going to change the font we are going to change it to archival black and then we are going to head over to effects over here and we are going to choose hollow. So now this has become um, a colorable font, a colorable alphabet. Um, after that, we are also going to add a subheading and we're going to write is for. A is for and, and three little dots. 
and we're going to position it somewhere here and on page 9 we are going to copy and paste our um, poem that we just generated so let's copy and paste it there you have it let's format it to our liking Great. After we have this formatted, we are going to use these. Um, so now we're going to add. Um, so now we're going to add um, elements here. Uh, we're going to add, um, you know, things that start with an A. We can also take reference from our poem. So it says apple here. So we can add an apple. And Canva has all these um, illustrations that you can use. You can also check the license here. It's free. And what does it mean? Use this media safely in Canva design for personal and commercial uses. Um, so yeah, we can use it. Let's go ahead and add our apple here. What else does it say? Um, alligator. We can add an alligator here. Now I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT and do this for all 26 alphabets of uh, English and I'm going to make these color pages. So after you're done adding all your elements to your alphabets and adding all the poems to your pages, you can move on to make the cover of the book. So for the cover of the book, we are going to go for the width, double the width of our, um, our project, which is if it's 8.5, we are going to go for 17. And we are going to keep the height 8.5. And we are going to create a new design. So after that, we are going to divide the page um, vertically um, to about um, half. And then um, then somewhere about a, you know, two more lines with it. So. And we are going to make sure that our content remains within these um, within these uh, margins. So now we are going to design our uh, cover. So we are going to use this uh, AI uh, widget on Canva, which is text to image. For that, we're going to go in apps and we're going to click text to image. And I already gave it a prompt for an alphabet coloring book cover and I chose the style anime and then I uh, clicked create design. So this is the one that it came up with. I like this one. So we're going to be using this and we are going to adjust this to our book. And then we are going to change the color of this 
to this. Now we are going to add some text to this. Alphabet, alphabet coloring book with phonics, with phonics foam. You can give whatever title you want to give your book. I am going to change this font to Archivo Black because that's the one we have been using. Um, and I'm going to... Oh. I'm going to change the font color to white and I'm going to add some effects to it. I'm going to outline it with with a pink color. I'm going to thicken the outline and I might make it a little darker. And I'm going to add another title here, Children's Activity Book. And I'm going to change the font to archive black and I'm going to give it um, a curved effect and I'm going to make the font a little bigger and I'm going to yes and I might make it smaller and I'm going to add an outline to this as well I'm going to make this black and if you want to add something behind the book you can add that you can you can ask chat GPT to create um, some paragraphs Create two paragraphs to add to the back cover of this book. And we're going to add that. change the formatting and we're going to make it smaller change to 14 and that's about it we have the cover ready and we have to save it to um, PDF PDF print and then we're going to download it and I am going to add a preface to this book and I'm going to add this on page 4 and yeah, I am going to format this so I'm going to copy some of this and add this to the next page which is this Gonna make the font a little smaller, let's change it to 16, and again, let's change this to 16 as well. 
let's bring it to the center of the page there you go now let's save this to PDF print now head over to Amazon KDP and create um, your book I've already gone through uh, the process of how you can uh, upload your uh, book on KDP. I'm going to link that video um, where we created a book of poems and you can see how I published the book um, on that video on Amazon KDP. You can follow those steps and publish your book on Amazon KDP. The other thing that you can do is you can head over to Etsy on your shop and um, you know change the dimensions of these uh, pages to A4 and uh, save them as a PDF and sell them as uh, standalone worksheets uh, on Etsy. The possibilities are endless. Um, you know, do uh, be creative, sell them how you want to, and uh, create amazing content like this. And uh, if you want me to give you more ideas, just leave in a comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.